Most of them are. I try to go during the week, like right around now, so it's about one o'clock. And it doesn't seem, sorry, I have the air blasting. It is, I think the high today is like 97 or something. It is crazy hot outside. But I try to go during the week because Lucy likes to push her own little cart, as you saw. It's just too hectic in there if it's really busy. So we try to go when it's less people. So definitely not on a weekend and as early as possible on a weekday is usually my go-to time. <laughs> Anyways, Eleanor's not feeling good. I'm going to um, give the doctor a call and see what's going on with her, but I just wanted to get in and out of there so I could get her home and get the girls home and fed because we haven't eaten lunch yet. Go ahead and do that, head back to the house, and then I will show you everything that we got. I didn't get everything I wanted because Eleanor was fussing, uh, so we might have to make another trip out maybe next week and grab a couple more things, but I did get a few things that are very summer themed <laughs> that you might be interested in seeing. All right, so we're home. I have to make the girls lunch soon, so I thought I would just run through everything that I got. Sorry for the lighting, the angle's not great because my table is full. I'm gonna go ahead and just go through everything that I got and I'll point out some of the summer specific things in case you were wondering what they had in store right now. Uh, so this was already open because Lucy wanted to eat it. This is the movie theater butter popcorn and it's just the air pop popcorn. So I get this a lot of times as a snack for her and she loves it. So she's already eating a little bit now before it's time for lunch. I got myself a Greek salad today to have for my lunch because I didn't have anything set out and it was easy to grab and go. And usually when I shop at Trader Joe's, I just buy like their specialty items or things that I can't get at my normal grocery store because um, I buy things at like Walmart and stuff and a lot of times the price is a little bit better on some stuff. But since I was there and there were some things that I wanted to go ahead and grab today, I did get just some normal items. I grabbed some uh, little mini grape tomatoes. The price was good on these and there's quite a few of them. So I went ahead and picked some of these up because I like to eat these in salads. I use these in recipes for pasta. Um, Lucy just eats these as like a snack. So I'll cut these up and give these to her as a snack. We all really like the Trader Joe's um, chicken fried rice. I highly recommend this if you're shopping at Trader Joe's. Um, it's frozen and you just throw it in the pan and a little bit goes a long way. So I always try to grab a bag of this when I'm there because it's a huge hit. We love eating pot stickers in our house and Trader Joe's, their price for them is so good. Uh, if you buy the ones like at Walmart, it's 10 or something dollars for a big bag. But these you can get to a, the same size, just like separately, and it's not as expensive. They're like three something a bag. So I got chicken and then I also got pork. And these are really easy for a dinner. You can just throw these in some boiling water or you can steam them if you have a steamer or you can fry them as well. I like them steamed or boiled the best, but these are always really good and an easy late night meal as well. My cream comes just from like ice cream. So I just like ice cream, so and that's my ice cream. 
they had a bunch of sugar cones. So Lucy had to have some of these. So we got those. Another frozen thing I got are these organic rainbow cauliflower. My husband loves cauliflower. I thought that these would be fun for him to eat. Um, and I'm sure they taste the same, but just the fact that they were rainbow colored, I don't know, it made them a little bit more fun. I also went ahead and grabbed a bag of broccoli for it, just because these are a pretty good price. They're too big the size of a bag. And uh, again, I just like to eat more yeah. these steamed or however for an easy dinner. I got some of their hash browns. These are super easy to bake, or you can throw them in the air fryer, and they taste just like the McDonald's hash browns. So Hannah loves these, Lucy eats these, Eleanor does too. And I thought these are just fun to have on the weekends, and I haven't bought them for a while. They're only like $2. Something else that I really like to buy at Trader Joe's are flowers. I know I said this in my video last year, so I can link that one um, down below if you wanna see what all I got. I got some different things this year. I didn't look for a few of the things that I had gotten last summer, uh, so they may not have them anymore, but um, some of these things are repeats you might notice. I do get flowers almost every time I go there just because they are such a great price. So this time I got some sunflowers and I also picked up some eucalyptus. It just smells so good. I always buy some in the summertime, so this combination just makes it feel like summer. I did go ahead and get some bananas from Trader Joe's. The price wasn't bad, they were 19 cents each, so not too bad. I was running low on bananas and we like to have these in smoothies and all that stuff for during the day. So I went ahead and just grabbed some while I was there because we needed some. This is something I have not tried before, but I have heard people talking about it and it was so cheap, it was 99 cents for this bag. I've been hearing that they're really good. It's called Trader Joe's Bomba snacks and they are puffed peanut and corn snacks. I'm not sure, it sounds like they're gonna taste peanutty and I'm okay with that. <laughs> so I'm excited to try them. You can eat quite a few of them too. It says one serving size is about 45 pieces and the entire bag is 160 calories. So that sounds dangerous. I've just been hearing about these and for a dollar, I thought it was worth giving them a try. I'm sure the girls will like them too. Everybody in this house almost eats peanut butter. So these seem like a good pick. This next item, these potato chips, they're called patio potato chips. These are by far one of my absolute favorite things to get at Trader Joe's during the summertime. I did not get any last year. I don't think I got any last year and I'm not sure why. Maybe I just didn't see them or I just, I, we only went that one time so I might not have just grabbed them. But these are so good. Basically it's a bag of sea salt and vinegar, dill, homestyle ketchup and sweet barbecue flavored potato chips. So pretty much summertime in a bag. They are so good. Interestingly enough, the homestyle ketchup is my favorite. So if you like chips that are tangy, have that like tang to them, then I highly recommend these chips. I mean, it's called the Patio Potato Chips and it has them doing all the fun summer things, but these are just so, so good. I buy these and they're gone really, really quickly. So we ended up buying two bags, but we did already open the other bag. <laughs> so I don't think they'll last very long. I did see these, these were not a dollar. These were, I don't even remember the price. These were a couple of dollars, but these are also a Bomba snack and they're a little bit bigger bag. So I'm sure they were a couple dollars more probably, but these are dipped in chocolate. The same peanut puff snack and they dip it in dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is my favorite chocolate. So these just, I had to grab these. It sounded so good. It basically sounds like a dark chocolate Reese's cup or something. I will let you know when I do just a video where I might be eating these or if you're asking in the comments, I will be sure to let you know how these were because I just think that these are gonna be so good. I went ahead and got a jar of their three cheese sauce because I'm going to be making spaghetti later in the week and their sauce is such a great price. It was like two dollars for this jar, around two dollars. It's the Pomodoro pasta sauce. I love to use the cheese sauces when I make spaghetti instead of just straight up marinara sauce. So I've gotten this before and it's really really good. So I went ahead and grabbed a jar of that while we were there. Again, we don't go all the time, so some of these things are things that I unfortunately don't get to eat as often as I would like, so I did stock up. If you're ever in the market for seasonings, I recommend Trader Joe's too for that. They have uh, just these really nice glass jars with really pretty labels, so one, they look nice if you're gonna display them, 
but also uh, they're just a really great price. It's $1.99 each. Uh, the only ones that cost a little bit more are the fancier ones. So like I got cinnamon. I also got this chili lime because it sounded good. It just sounded like something that you would want for summer for maybe some chicken or some tacos or something. I don't know, I really wanna try it. It says it has gama, mango, and pineapple. Next time we grill, I'm gonna put some of this on my food and see how it tastes. Now this next one, I put it when we were shopping. It is new for the summer, I believe, or maybe they've had it before, but it's new to me. But it is seasoning in a pickle, seasoning blend. So it says it has bite and tang of a dill pickle flavor. And this was like two something, but I'm pretty sure a little bit of this probably goes a long way. So I'm sure at that price, this is gonna last for a while. I love pickles. <laughs> I love anything dill pickles, kosher pickles. We put them on sandwiches. I just love the tanginess of it. So this sounded like something that would be perfect for summertime or just really any time. I did buy their dill pickle mustard last year and that was really, really good. I didn't even think to grab it today. So if we make another trip out there, I'll have to grab some because if you like pickles and mustard, it's like the perfect combination. But this is their dill pickle seasoning. So I'm gonna have to try this. I'm not even really sure what to eat this on. I don't know, I'll have to find some recipes for it, but I couldn't pass it up because I love pickles so much. I also got a box of their banana bread mix. We like to make breads and muffins on the weekends and uh, their box mix are like a couple dollars and they make a pretty decent size amount. So I went ahead and got this. We've gotten this one before. These for the girls, these are organic apple and banana fruit sauce crushers. So this is where they keep apple sauces and it's just kind of like a fruit applesauce um, in those little squeezy pouches. And again, I just did my diaper bag video. So these are great snacks if you're looking for something that you can just throw into your bag and hit the road. So I went ahead and grabbed some of these. I also get these to the girls just sometimes at lunchtime or breakfast. It's just easy to give it to them. And they're pretty healthy. This one's got apple puree, banana puree. It's a pretty decent snack if you're looking for something along those lines. I didn't get as much as I probably would have if Eleanor wasn't fussing, but that's probably a good thing too because I was already at like over $50, so. It's so easy to go in there and just blow like an entire paycheck because everything is so good. But thanks to Eleanor, that did not happen. This is just the Cruciferous Crunch Collection. And this is a really good bagged lettuce. Uh, it's got Brussels sprouts, cabbage, red cabbage, um, broccoli and kale. We saute greens a lot and have it as like a side or you can mix it with some rice or use it as a side. I don't know, it's super versatile. And yeah, this is just really, really good to eat. You can also eat it obviously just as a salad, but we like to saute it up with some olive oil and some garlic and salt and pepper, and it's really good. So uh, I went ahead and got this because this big old bag was only a couple dollars. And that's a pretty good price because at my local grocery stores, um, it's definitely more than that. So this is really nice to pick up. I usually try to grab a bag of it while I'm there. And the last thing, I don't often buy at Trader Joe's, but we were out and I needed it. So I just went ahead and got some milk. And again, their milk is a pretty good price. As you know, everything is just crazy everywhere, but their milk actually is really good to grab there, even if you're on a budget. So that's one last thing that I grabbed. That is everything. Like I said, some of it is summer specific. I definitely recommend the patio chips. They are so good. And I will have to get back to you about the Bamba snacks. It sounds like those are gonna be really tasty too. Dill pickle seasoning. I'm not really sure how that's gonna taste, but I'll see if I can find some recipes and maybe I'll include it in one of my Sunday dinners that I like to post as well. If you have any questions about any of the items that I bought or you're wondering what I like to make with them, just leave a comment down below and I will let you know what I think about it. And then if you have any Trader Joe's favorites that you have to have, especially right now in the summer, where I can go run back up there and get it, then leave that down in the comments too, because I am always loving to try new things. I think last year some people commented about some of their favorites and I actually wrote down which ones I wanted to try so that I could look for them this year. So 
please leave your favorites down below for me and hopefully I'll make it back out there again soon and I can give them a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun watching this video. I love shopping at Trader Joe's. I don't go often because I can easily spend way too much money there and I do try to stick to a budget when I can, but I try to go at least once a season and pick up some of my favorite seasonal items. So hopefully this video gave you some ideas if you are wondering what you can purchase when you make your next Trader Joe's trip. Maybe you have some recipe ideas that you can let me know in return. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I have a lot of lifestyle and motherhood content coming for you soon.